Hi, in this video we're going to go over the FGP CNC screen interface. Uh, this is the standard interface that we use with all of our CNC router machine, if it's auto tool change or if it's a manual tool change. Uh, we designed this screen to be really easy to use for sign makers, for cabinet makers, uh, you know, anybody that wants to do any custom mill work and doesn't matter if you have experience with CNC in the past and uh, you know everything is nicely laid out from the loading your job from controlling your feed rate spindle rpm um, everything is there and it's self-explanatory but uh, we are going to go over it and show you uh, how it's done uh, what the first thing you do i'm going to close this So the first thing you do after you turn the machine on is load the FGP screen. So the first thing you turn the screen on, uh, the first thing you see is on top here. It says reset is activated. So what this means is your CNC machine has mechanical emergency stop. So those are actual push buttons that are on the machine. And then you also have your software reset. Uh, which is right on top section here. So the software reset acts same as the mechanical stop um, in a sense that it stops all the machine operations and put the machine in emergency mode. So when you first start the machine, uh, it is in a software reset. You cannot move the machine at all until the software reset is deactivated. You can see the machine is in the software reset by this green LED that's shown here. Uh, so if this green LED is off, that means the emergency, software emergency is uh, de deactivated and you can now use the machine. So basic, so you got your homing, your reset, and your soft limit on top, top of the screen. And then right below it, we have the section for loading your G-code and starting the job, pausing it, rewinding it. So that would be on this uh, right, right side section. Below that, we have all the sensor and machine calibrations. And just below that, we have the jogging of the machine, moving the machine to the, your desired position and working from there. On the left side, what we see on the top, basically we have machine uh, work coordinate system. Below that, we have the screen that shows what we're cutting and our job simulation. And then below that, we have machine feed rate, spindle RPM, and the G54 uh, work coordinate setting. I mean, for pretty much any job that you do, that's all you need from a CNC interface. And the rest of the jobs are and settings are done through your CAM software. So your CAM software is actually uh, is what you use for designing uh, your parts and giving a tool path and uh, you know RPM and feed rate, all of that is done through your CAM software. or this is your first time using it. 